If you're around every afternoon for the 240 segment, the former Cowboy Scout delivers his football analysis every afternoon. Well, today after the corner, he took a couple of more phone calls from sources around the league and is prepared to update it. And here he is on Cowboys Niners. Thank you very much, General. Appreciate that. Uh, Yeah, these are some coaches uh, I know that have played the 49ers this year, offensive coaches, and uh, kind of walk me through some of the things that you need to understand when you're dealing with this 49ers defense. And uh, I, I did ask him some questions about Joey, the the Bosa's and stuff like that. All the Bosa's. Huh? All the Bosa's. You wanted to know about it, brother and dad. Did you yeah. ask why brother's nose Nick and Bosa. chin continues to get bigger yeah. and bigger on a year-to-year basis? And can we get under Nick's skin as Nick, much as Nick's, Joey got yeah, irritated exactly. and started getting fouls and stuff? Penalties, I should say. Nick's a more handsome guy than Joey, right? Man, Definitely. he got all the good looks in that family. He's like a true man dime. Like, mm-hmm. from head to toe, he is what you would call the the like physical perfection. <laughs> and then Joey has this chin... And the schnoz that you just, it's like, yeah. do they have the same parents? <laughs> he does have the, the schnoz. It does look different, yeah. It might be all the HD. Might different. You know? Okay, my coaches. Everything grows with that. My coaches were telling me this. <laughs> Everything. Everything. They were saying, they. my coaches were saying that, that it was hard, it's harder to play against Todd Bowles than it is to play against D'Amico Ryans. Simplistic, right? Very simplistic. We doing a lot of cover three, rush four. Our guys are better than yours. Yeah, it's it's like that. it's very simplistic coverage. I'm I'm you're over there getting it done there, Chief. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, my guy said, listen. I said, hey, give me give me the situation. The Cowboys faced Todd Bowles last week. You know, and you know when you guys when you see Ryan's, what do you think? Oh no, it's it's harder to play against Bowles because he says Bowles is always going to have a package ready for you, something you haven't seen. He goes, the thing with D'Amico, D'Amico won't play against a team he could feel like that he could just out-scheme or mm-hmm. just out-play because of his players being better. He won't come up with anything new or different. Let's not complicate it. Let's just go push him down all afternoon. Exactly. Exactly. He says with Bowles, you're going to get something kind of different every week. Mm-hmm. But with, with D'Amico, he, no. You're just – now – Is that going to backfire on him? I don't know. The one guy said he goes, yeah, it it it's something that you kind of you have to be alert for. But he says, I I he goes, I feel like that he's going to have a pressure package ready for you guys in this game. They like I say, but there's some teams he just lines up and he knows he's better than, hmm. and he'll just he'll just play to whatever it is. Yeah, no need to take risks. Yeah. We'll be in position. We'll make the tackles. But he respects the Cowboys then. Yeah. If he's going to have a pressure. Yeah, he's going to have ready. a pressure. Okay, good to know. A lot of the This is a lot of the old Seattle defense is what this is. You're going to get a lot of zone coverage. You're going to get you're going to get a lot of man on third down is what you're going to do. Good. Dak will pick that apart. Now, I had my other coach say, I asked him this question. I said, who are they going to try and take away in this game? Who do you think he said? CD. CD Ram. Tony Pollard. Uh, it, one one guy oh, voted. There's two guys, and they each voted for a different guy. Did they say Schultz? One guy said Schultz, and the other guy said they're going to try and take away Pollard yeah. in this game. Okay, is Leave what CD they were trying to do. Oh, don't take away CD. That's fine. Yeah. Now, th- to your points about uh, one guy said this about about Nick Bosa, and I, I respect this. I respect this. This coach told me he says you can't let this get into a two minute game. And when he means a two-minute game, that all you're doing is rushing the passer. I, I, I yeah. say that on both sides of the ball. Yeah. Like, I think if you're the Niners, that's what you got to be scared about. Okay, the Dallas defense knows the, that uh, we have to throw the ball. We got 90 seconds to do it, and Brock Purdy's going to be running for his life. Like, that scares me more as a Niners fan than even a Cowboys fan, but it, it's it goes both ways for sure. One of my guys said, though, I'd run the ball right at him, at it, at it, Nick Bosa. Run right at him. He says because what you need to do is you need to try and wear him down. There sure. you go. Make yeah. him have to make him have to fight blocks, and make him have to get off blocks in order to make tackles. So it's like what you said when the Cowboys played the Rams. You said run right at Aaron Donald. Run at Aaron Donald. The Cowboys did that and right. they won that battle. They did win that battle inside. They sure did. I love the idea of Tyler Smith getting out and trying to push around Nick all afternoon. I, I mean that's my hope. You know, I, I know I'm. I've been discussing some things with fans and stuff on Twitter. They're 49er guys. I appreciate you guys. I really do. A lot of passion there. But my well, my guy said, don't don't just run the ball away from him because he will chase that ball. 
but you got to run the ball at him and don't turn it into a two-minute game. If all of a sudden Dallas is throwing the ball every snap, that will be a problem. What about their linebackers, though, Brian? Can you handle that? Okay, the linebackers, what he says, the, the one, uh, one guy said about, he was talking about Fred Werner. Yeah. Oh, and he, said, he says, he goes, it's hard to fool him because he tackles well, but he also is not the biggest guy. And he goes, you can also run at him hmm. is what they would try to do. And they did try and run at him. So Fred Warner, again, sideline to sideline player, hard guy to fool, but you can run at him. One of my other coaches said, you need to change the tempo playing against these guys. Hmm. Okay. Cowboys will do that. Yeah. They'll hit yeah. the turbo. That's why, that's why he goes, and, the, and he even brought it up. He said, listen, I've seen you guys play on tape. Yeah. You guys, you will chant, you'll go, you'll play fast. He goes, play fast against these guys. And they did it against Tampa and it worked. Yeah. Yeah. So he says, don't let them, don't let them rotate players. Don't let them feel comfortable. Change the tempo on them. Okay. I'm like, cool. My other guy said this, you got to win the middle of the field, especially on third down. He says, this is why, he goes, I think they're going to try and take away Schultz. Okay, because they sense. feel like that Schultz, they, they don't feel like, like, we mentioned this about Gibson and Hufenga, the two safeties at play here. You, it, this guy said, you can win against those two guys. And he said, you ought to put as many, get as many opportunities as you can to put Schultz on either one of those guys in this football game. I mean, the young tight ends, too. Yeah. Get multiple tight ends out there on these guys. Yeah. and Or, or Dak runs. Yeah. It, big note was they have a problem at safety. You need to match them up as much as you can. Okay. Uh, one guy said, check downs to Pollard will be, could be huge in this game. Because because what he says is, and that, again, it goes back to the middle of the field. Find a way if it's stuff underneath, things like that. Throw him the ball, let him. He goes, this dude, this team really tackles well, but how many tackles you could break, you could put them in a lot of pressure there. But it's all he says. It's about trying to win the middle of the field. And the, da, 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 da. I talked to you about the Ryans has the... Brian says the thing about he doesn't always have the plan. So, yeah. yeah that's simple what my, game plan most yeah, of the time. Same, simple right. game plan, so... But the number one thing was that that they wanted both these guys said was because I asked them a question, they thought it was harder playing preparing against Todd Bowles. It's fascinating, which was last week as to pair what you're about to deal with right now. All righty, sounds great, great stuff from Brian Broadus. He'll have more tomorrow at two forty in Krusty's Corner. Merton Hanks will be on with KNC tomorrow afternoon one thirty. And if you missed it, the Cowboys did sign a new kicker, Tristan Vizcaino, although at this point they're saying it's uh, just insurance. Yeah, and I talked to a team that had him, and they said he's a little erratic. Okay. All righty. Better than a lot erratic. Yeah. Uh, And I I think this year did he kick? Was he five for five? Three of three. three. Two for two on field goals, three for three on extra points. Did you confirm he does not have the yips currently? Well, he's perfect so far, but my guy said strong leg, a little erratic.